Not-for-Profit Law presents Tax. Hi, I'm Anne, and I have a question about tax concessions. My community group has been operating for some years now. A new board member recently joined, and she suggested that we might be eligible for some tax concessions. We haven't thought about this before. Is this something we should look into? Hi, I'm Jess. I'm a lawyer at Not-for-Profit Law. Can you tell me a bit more about your group's activities? Sure. We're a not-for-profit incorporated association. We mostly work with older people in our area. We have social activities. We deliver meals to people if they are sick. We organise lifts to doctor's appointments. And we teach computer skills and healthy eating habits. Your board member was right to raise tax concessions as a possibility. It sounds like some of your activities could attract tax exemptions. But where organisations do lots of different activities, it can be tricky to work out which exemptions may apply. You will probably need to get legal advice from a tax specialist for a final answer, but I can tell you a bit about some of the concessions available. Key tax concessions that not-for-profit groups can be eligible for include income tax exemptions, which means your organisation does not need to pay tax on its income, goods and services tax concessions, which can mean that your organisation doesn't need to pay the government GST, like most suppliers do. Fringe benefit concessions or rebates, which give some tax benefits to employees to attract great people. Deductible gift recipient endorsement, which means your donors can claim their donations they make to you as a tax deduction. And state tax exemptions, which cover things like stamp duty exemptions. You need to apply separately in each relevant state. If your organisation can become a tax concession charity, you will have access to some of these exemptions and concessions. But deductible gift recipient endorsement is a special case. Some kinds of groups that are not tax concession charities can also access some concessions. If only some of your activities are eligible, you may be able to structure your organisation so those activities can access concessions. It's a lot to digest so I recommend you go to the Information Hub and read some more about all the different tax concessions and DGR endorsement and the different ways a group can be eligible. This video is legal information only and is not legal advice. This video series is brought to you by Justice Connect's Not-for-Profit Law Service.